I feel alright. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm a soldier, you know, uh, through thick and thin, good and bad. You're always at forward, never back. And uh, always wondering what's next on the cards. And that's it, that's my mindset in general in life. How do you view how the fight went? Good fight, uh, heavyweight boxing. It's an upset, isn't it? It's not expected. The bookie said I was a favourite. Um, one shot on the top of the dome, you know, kind of rattled me a bit. And then uh, tried to stay in there a few more rounds. But the better man won, respect to Andy. Um, and I moved forward now, seeing what's next with the boss man. And then um, look out for the end of the year, who's next and what's next. Was he, was he underestimated? Never, I don't underestimate anyone. He's a decent, he's a decent puncher, a decent fighter. It's his chance, isn't it? And I always say, like, anyone who comes to box me, boxes 50, 20% better than what we've seen. Um, it's funny because, as a fighter, as I said, I don't overlook anyone. But it's easy to overlook someone because of their shape or their record or whatnot. But these guys are coming to win, and uh, he's a better man tonight. He's done his job. Was it distracting that people kept mentioning any other fighter apart from Ruiz this week? Was it distracting? Was it distracting to you that everyone was yeah, mentioning what you do, the Wilder? You learn from that situation. So what I learned from that situation is rather than try and block it out, naturally you're going to speak about Wilder's furies. Naturally you're going to speak about Dylan. So if people want to ask me about that, I'm all ears to it, and I'll give you the answer. It's rude of me to say I'm not answering that question. So I'll give you the answer, and um, that's how it is. So rather than trying to block out the fact that there's other competition out there, I keep my eye on the prize and say Ruiz is well fighting, but these are the guys that I still want to compete with. Do you know what I mean? Don't stop. That's what I say. I ask Eddie, what's next? Did you feel different tonight? tonight? You looked a bit different. Uh, going into the ring. Was there something wrong? Never, never nothing wrong. Never nothing wrong. But did you feel different tonight? Nah, nah, nah. I don't. Nah, it's my own fault. It's my own fault. My own problem. I'm not doing. Yeah. What, what do you think the problem was? Uh, got caught on the top of the head and just didn't recover in time. Tried to stay in there a few rounds. Box clever, um, but it just didn't work out. So what do I do next? Tidy up, brush off the cobwebs, and go again. AJ, a lot of the talk before this fight, you know, between you and um, other people outside were saying, you know, this is like the beginning of the renaissance of the heavyweight division, you know, with you, Fury, Wilder, at the top. Does this set that back at all, you think, this, this, this renaissance of the heavyweight division? Uh, naturally it does. Naturally it does. Um, but if it was the end of the road, then I'll say, yeah, but for me, as I said with Eddie and, and the team, and that, it's what's next, so it's just like, a minor setback, I would say, if that's what you want to call it, a minor setback. But, you know, the locks on the doors don't change. We're still family, we still love the sport, we're still a champ. And then uh, we bounce back and go and rectify it and get my hands on those belts again. What would you like to be next? Is it the immediate rematch you want? Me? <laughs> you know who I want. But, respect to Andy, if the rematch is where we're at, then we go, uh, we go for the rematch. Were you okay tonight? It seemed like there was a delay for you leaving your dressing room. Was there anything? It was his groin guard. What, in the morning? Um, no, in the morning, before the fight? Yeah, the ring wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, my groin guard, my groin guard. And also, you look like you were uncomfortable with your gum shield. Was... Now you bite down on it. Just biting down on it. You know it's rubber. So you just bite down on it, warm up the jaw, warm up the head and stuff like that. Evan, you're such a class act. I mean, it's a good loss. It's devastating. It's good to show someone to spike your hand. Is that any setback? Yeah. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. I can tell the voice. Yeah, thank you. Yes. But I'm saying, you're so nice. I mean, no one acts like that after a while. Trust me, where, you know, I come from a good family, but where I was at in life, I dealt, I dealt with more shit than this. I dealt with some real big losses and I bounced back. And uh, life is a journey. If I was to look at my setbacks back then and I was to stop doing what I was doing, then I would have been fucked. But I didn't do that. I uh, kept my head strong, walked like a champion, and I managed to bounce back. So. I feel like this is just part of a journey that I'm on. Um, this is boxing, and what I have to do is reevaluate the situation, make it better, and we go again. We didn't come this far to kind of stop. We didn't come this far to, to fold under pressure. We came this far, and I feel like we can definitely go a lot further. What did you think about the referee stopping it when he did? Do you know what it is? I never blame, like, let's say the judges. It's a close fight, people think he won, they give it to me or whatnot. I never blame them. The judges, they're doing their job. Referee, what he does his job. I should have never touched the canvas if I didn't want it to get stopped. That's down to me as a fighter. So I've got to go back there and handle my business. It seemed like there was a conversation. And do you remember what he said to you? The rep said to you, like, what was the said, How you feeling, champ? I said, good, 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 good. How you feeling, champ? I said, I'm good, I'm good. And that was it. Do you want to fight him again next? I'm down forever. You know the names that we was always mentioning. As I said, the grind don't change. 
the motivation and the purpose of boxing doesn't change. If Andy Ruiz wants it again in the rematch, um, I don't even ask about a rematch because I'm so confident that I'm going to win. So if it's there, we'll go again and I'll get them titles back. AJ, you've got, you've got a rematch clause, but you can exercise it, and it's an opportunity for you to get your belts back. Yeah, I'm going to beat him up. Well, Anthony, hi. Hello. To every Nigerian, first of all, you're still my champion. Thank you so much. And on behalf of every Nigerian or every African here, yeah. we want to say thank you. Thank We're you proud too. of you. You're still our champion. What message do you want me to take back to Nigerians and Africans in diaspora who are devastated? Oh, you know about the diaspora? Yes? Yeah, um, I listened to all that stuff as well. Um, now about the free trade that's happening. So positive things are happening outside of what happened tonight. So keep a positive mindset. Like I said, like, if you look at all the things Africa's been through, and they're still looking to prosper. What about your fans in diaspora here, in the US, say, and across, like, who are Africans me, who are It's not just about me, we all rise, isn't it? Like, I'm sure I've inspired some kid from Africa, or, you know, um, I'm going to go back there this year as well. We're starting up charity foundations and stuff. So it's just like there's so much positivity, even though this is a negative. So just look around, be prosperous, and um, we just got to roll with the punches. And I can't wait to meet people in Africa. It's been a long time. I've been so busy training, and doing other stuff. I haven't had time to travel back to Africa. I kind of to keep it like Marbella, which is like two hours away, or Dubai, where my family are at Christmas. So it's, it'd be good to go back and meet everyone. You felt a lot of pressure being here this week with all the expectations, fighting in the United States, <sighs> Madison Square Garden, expectations, everything. I'm never one to deal with the pressure. Yeah, I'm not one to kind of be like, oh my god, the pressure, the pressure, the pressure. But it was a good fight. It's what I do, and um, I just got, I just got beat tonight. On the uh, on the record, it says I got beat, and that's it. No pressure, no pressure. Can you? Is this the ultimate test now for you, Anthony, in terms of how you respond to this? It's quite a good question. Quite a good question. It's a test, it's not the ultimate because there's going to be plenty more. Um, but it's a test of character. And as I'm trying to show why I wanted to come here now, it's to show that we don't fold. You know, we stand strong um, at all times. And I will uh, address the situation that happened tonight and then we move forward on to the next. Tomorrow so, comes, innit? Yeah. Just a couple more, guys. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Um, what do you think went wrong tonight in your personal opinion? Because a lot of times people are thinking that you're either overtrained mentally off the pressure got to you because it's a lot obviously coming over here what do you think that it was it's interesting because like i always say flip reverse if i would have won tonight there would have been nothing that went wrong so i'm not going to blame anything i just lost tonight um, andy ruiz was a better man and i've got to take that on the chin and i've got to roll with the punches so i don't want to kind of say this went wrong that went wrong i've got a great team man seriously a really good team so, uh, I'll just say as well that yeah. sport is about fine margins. Yeah, yeah. If he does what he always does, and when Ruiz gets up, he, he sticks behind his jab and stops it. Everyone goes, great performance, Ruiz weren't very good. On to the next one. Do you have some and then, people? like that. But uh, is it the goal to try to get the, is it the goal to get the rematch, or is it the goal to go again for like shooting for? He, he'll answer. I know what his answer will be. It's, it's the goal to improve. Uh, AJ, yeah. you're, uh, uh, Eddie's been talking about the rematch with Ruiz and you want to have ultimate other fights. Do you think that you should have a warm-up fight or a pre-fight? Uh, pre it's a warm-up fight. I'm, I'm fighting like, what do you mean a warm-up fight? <laughs> maybe, this maybe. is what I do. I don't fight warm-ups, bro. I'm just down to scrap. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, uh, yeah, no warm-up fight, man. Like, that would be stupid. So you don't think a fight before Ruiz? Or no way. No way. Anthony, how long do you think you're taking to like tonight? Settled in and you fully it's settled understand. Settled in, bro. It's settled in. It's settled in. But um, yeah, like it's settled in. It's... What's next? Isn't it? That's what I'm saying. Look forward. I ain't dwelling on tonight. We just correct it. I'm gonna be like morning. Like, oh, you know what I mean? It's like you correct it. You adjust. Sit down. Focus. Lock in, and you go again. What would be the other options to a rematch? Eddie? I think every day that goes on, he'll want that rematch more and more. But there's some, huge, right, yeah. there's some huge fights out there for him. Still, nothing, nothing changes other than defeat. But what it does is, I mean, the only thing it does do is, going into tonight, we didn't really know what was coming next in, in November or December or whatever it was. And now, I think we do. <coughs> but yeah. there is a lot of pressure on that fight. It's a huge fight, the rematch. And I know, like I said, every day that passes, 
his hunger will burn deeper to avenge that loss the because he's a competitor. Yeah, the hunger is deep. Why would that rematch happen? Same time as his next fight with Plenty. November, UK, December. For me, UK. But, you know, we'll sit down as a team and, and look at every. I have to say, I know it didn't go away tonight. I think, I said in the press conference earlier, we wanted to create a night yeah, that people yeah, yeah. remember for a long time. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, they'll remember it for the shock defeat and an incredible night of boxing. Yeah. But he's always wanted to do that. He's yeah. always wanted to give people value for money and give people great nights. And yeah. they will never forget it. Unfortunately, it didn't go away. But that's okay. Yeah. The, the revenge will be sweet, and I believe you'll get it. How's your family reacting to this? Me? Your family. Um, dad's upset, natural reaction. Mum's cool. She hasn't come to the boxing, so she just separates the two in it, like son from boxing. Uh, whole team, soldiers, check, you're right, you're good. And we roll with the punches, wow. do you know what I mean? Good and bad. So yeah, everyone, everyone's in good spirits. Obviously, losing isn't what we like, but losing is something that we can learn from. What did your dad say to you? My dad, just tighten up, tighten up things. Get smart. That's what he's trying to advise is just get smart. Um, I said, when things are going good, when you ask me how would I take this, like, it's like, oh yeah, things are going good, nothing's wrong. Then something bad happens and you start realising little things. So he's just like, just tighten up a bit to improve, which I respect. Anthony, for those who love you and support you, what do you tell them? Uh, what do I tell them? It's a hard question at the minute. Uh, what do I tell these people that love me and support me? Thank you very much, number one. Thank you for always tuning in and following my career. And uh, I'm talking as if it's the end of it. <laughs> There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Is it important that you understand the message yourself but also say to other people that a loss is not necessarily the end of the world. It is. <laughs> it is. It's like snakes and ladders. I'm not going to lie to people. Winning is everything. Winning is everything. Don't lose that competitive edge. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit here now and be like, yeah, losing is fine. Not in my books. But if you do happen to take it out, readjust, reset, and bounce back. That's the key to it. But I do not condone losing. Not at all. But ultimately, if it happens, you get it right, you rectify it, and you go straight you forward. 100%. Yeah. This is war, battle, what's next? Yeah. What continent are we going to next? Who are you going to see next? How are we going to conquer that person, yeah. that person? How are you going to deal with it emotionally? How are you going to, how's your characteristics? This is all the questions that you've got to answer, and this is what a true like, warrior does. So, um, yeah, on to the next one. Do you think something like this will increase or renew the hunger that you have? Hunger is always there. That's what I say. Boxing is more for me. Just like as I said, it was like a lifestyle thing. I really appreciate like the, the, the food I started to eat, the stuff I started to learn and listen to on, on, on different social channels. The businessman has helped me become a fighter. Um, so it's like the hunger is about life, not just boxing. So I'm, that doesn't leave me. I'm I'm grinding. Like I'm ready to go back to work tomorrow. That's why I wanted to do this now because uh, it's deeper than boxing. This is this is who I am. Alright guys, thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.